In this video, I'll be showing you how to set your Scarlett as Ableton Live's audio device. This lets you use Scarlett to record and listen in Ableton Live. Start by making sure your Scarlett is connected to your Mac. Now open Ableton Live. Select Live, Settings, and then select the Audio tab. Under Driver Type, make sure Core Audio has been selected. Now select your Scarlett as the input and output devices. Your Scarlett is now set up to record with Ableton Live. What is buffer size and what is latency? Buffer size affects the amount of time your computer has to process sound. And latency is the delay between what is played and what is heard back. The buffer size can be changed here. Changing the buffer size can help you solve problems you come up against whilst recording. If you find that you're getting a slight delay whilst recording, referred to as latency, we suggest you reduce your buffer size. Decreasing your buffer size down to numbers like 32, 64 and 128 help reduce latency significantly. Experiment with these numbers to help understand what works best with your machine. If you find that during playback your session glitches, simply increase the buffer size. Increasing your buffer size up to figures like 256, 512, 1024 and 2048 helps improve playback performance especially when you have a high track count. I'm going to set mine to 64 and work from there. Here are some simple rules to follow. When recording, we recommend using the lower numbers. And when playing back, we recommend using the higher numbers. 64 and 128 are good starting points to avoid changing buffer size during your recording experience.